but are you gonna get a bunch of tickets this weekend? Yeah, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna get a little. I'm gonna get a, uh, like. I'm gonna try to get some. Get enough. What does it mean to be going back? And again, I know it's preseason, but the first time you're gonna be suited up is right back to Cincinnati. Yeah. Um. It's just I really just look at it as in just showing, showing the uh showing that bear catchers is it's, it's possible to like to do something and and having the young kids look at me, and they looking up to me and asking me questions and stuff and uh, another big reason why because that's where my child was born at, and uh, that's why I love for her to see me for the first time in like a uniform you know. Your uh, talk about your relationship with Cam Thomas. Cam. Cam. Yeah. Different players. You guys spent a lot of time together. Can you yeah. talk about just how close you guys have become? Uh, since we first got here, it was always uh, me and him always was clicking because me and him, his our lock is right next to each other. But uh, me, as of like going and like working with Cam, me and Cam getting closer and closer like day by day, and uh, we always we always try to like, how can I say it? Try to give each other feedback and everything we do and uh. And that helps us best. So it's like when he do something wrong, I tell him what he did wrong. And when I do something wrong, he'll give me a suggestion, tell me what I did wrong. And we both help each other on plays, like in and out of plays. So I say that our relationship got very closer. And as a rookie in this, we can keep going longer and longer with this since we got four years here together. So. Were you guys roomies in camp? No, we actually got a room by ourselves. So. Different, uh, different types of players, you obviously can yeah, he more of a he more of a power player, and uh, I'm more of like a speed guy. Which he got speed. He just uh, how can I say it? He just didn't didn't find it yet. He haven't found the speed, but he got it. I see it within within his play every day. He, you guys are side by side, just watching in practice, though. You know how you go outside. He'll take. Your oh guy. yeah. <laughs> yeah, that 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 package right there was very. Yeah, that package nasty. I like that. Oh yeah. We run it. As, no, mind, I'm not gonna say too much. But <laughs> what's it been like going against NFL offensive linemen, especially you know full pads and some yeah. of those drills? And uh, what have you learned? Uh, I say going against Hump. I say I'm gonna just knock it from the top to the bottom. I say going against Hump uh, since he helped me all the time and helped me to be a better pass rusher. I say he did. He does the best justice for me as a pass rusher because he actually is a nice. It's everything you can just tell he's a pro bowler and different than a lot of tackles that I face inside of practice. Not saying like he's any better or he's not any worse. I'm just saying he was just he's one of the best I've ever been in, been against ever since I've played a speed a spare rush against anybody. And uh, speed rushing against him, it just made me, even though I don't don't win a bunch, but it, he just he just helped me uh, become a better rusher and knowing what I what I can do to. Like the next pat, the next uh, tackle that I go against, or anybody else I go against that make it easier for me. So uh, and Josh Jones, he's a he's a pretty nice tackle. But I played against him in Houston when we was younger, and uh, it just them the best two tackles since I since I've been here. Who really showed me, like it's good. Are you are you where you want to be? I know we're only a couple of weeks in the camp. But yeah. Are you liking the progress you're making? Enough, even though, like, like, let's say you say against Hump, I don't win a lot, but I'm learning stuff. Yeah. Like, are you happy with where you are? Yeah, I'm definitely, definitely, most, I'm definitely happily, uh, happy where I'm at. Uh, I just say, I just every day is to get better. I never want to see myself, uh, want to, want to feel that I'm getting complacent at anything I do. I always try to make sure, even though if it's a tiny step or a big step, I always try to make sure I step forward in everything I do. And uh, I just feel like it's just a day by day process. So China went build China Wall went built in the day. You know what I'm saying? So it's just I go day by day, step by step with everything. How much do you just concentrate on obviously what you have to do, but also knowing that there's a, a bunch of guys competing yeah. for you know the, the, the same spots and for playing them? I say it's all a competition in off the in the field, like on the field and off the field. Uh while we and meeting rooms, somebody who who's taking notes more than somebody, or somebody who just know better things to do, or it's just 
one I just figured that we help each other out. That's how it all like comes down. Even though we compete against each other, we all help each other out to make each other better. We don't really say we I'm competing against Dennis, like one like one of the craziest dudes I ever seen pass rush, even though he not as tall, but that's it's still the craziest thing I ever seen. Uh he helped me with like things he like if somebody else I feel like at another team who don't help they rookie he'll help he'll help all the time anytime junk he helps all the time DK always help it's just we always they always try to make us better at, as rookies. What does it mean to have a guy like Dennis trying to pick up uh, moves that you have? Oh, uh, I learned more. I learned more from Dennis than he learned from me. Uh, I watch Dennis every day, uh, all day. Uh, he he helped me to, to keep my keep my uh like my center of gravity because he might be shorter than me so he well not might be he is shorter than me <laughs> but he helped he helped me like learn how to keep myself low and keep myself always pushing forward and keeping myself on my toes because watching him pass rush and seeing him do it if he can stay that low doing it why can't I you know and uh that's what he helped me do the most and I just appreciate him for all that why do you think pass rushing so crazy? it's just how fluent he is with what he do uh, he he don't never. Let me see. He never wastes a step. He always going forward, and everything he do is intentional, and uh, he really precise on what move he gonna throw, and it's always, like it it starts in like I said, it starts in the meeting room because he is he always say what he gonna do before we get on the field, and he actually does it. Have you ever seen anybody like him that can do what he does with that skill set? Other than Von Miller, nah. <laughs> no. Nah. Yeah, nah. When you get to Friday, what do you think the emotions will feel like playing in your first NFL game? Uh, I say it's not gonna be like crazy everywhere. One just when I told what I told my coaches, one of the biggest challenges is not gonna be in the game. It's just gonna be like playing inside of the the environment again, or playing without cuz at since at Cincinnati I never had over maybe 40 some thousand fans and it's going to be way more than that and I feel like that's one going to be one of the biggest things but other than that once I get like the first drive inside of like inside of my pass I feel like it's time to rock and stuff but I'm I'll most definitely be ready for it though